In this video, we will create an Azure Kubernetes service cluster. We search for Kubernetes services. And you will see that no Kubernetes service here to display. And we will create a new service. Azure Kubernetes service is the Azure service to create and manage Kubernetes clusters. As always, we choose our subscription and the resource group we created and the cluster name. Let's choose Kubernetes Workshop AKS as the name. we we'll leave the region as is, uh, the Kubernetes version as is. At the time of recording this video, it was 1.15, the default version, but it might be different uh, when you're watching it. Regarding the node pools, node pools are just collection of servers. You can choose up to 100 servers or nodes inside one node pool. And here you can change the size. The size of the node, you can choose it here, but watch out because you cannot change it after the creation of the cluster. We can here choose the size, let's say two virtual cores and eight gigarams, or maybe keep it as two and seven for the sake of demo. And as I mentioned, you can also change the size after you create the cluster, but you can add new pool and also new nodes. We're going to talk about the node pools in a second, but here you can have three as a start and then later you can add up to 100 nodes per pool. Let's go to next. Here we can see the concept of node pools. Node pools can contain up to 100 servers or nodes and you can have up to 10 node pool per cluster. That gives you a total of 1000 nodes inside your cluster. For this workshop, we don't need more node pools, so we leave it as is. Virtual nodes also, we don't use it for now. And then you can see the virtual scale set, and it tells you that the virtual scale sets are required for multiple node pools, but not only this, it's also required for auto scaling, and we will speak about it in a second. But in general, in case you are not familiar with virtual machine scale sets, virtual machine scale sets allows you to create and manage a group of identical load balanced virtual machines. The number of virtual machine instances can automatically increase and decrease in response to the demand and the defined schedule. It seems like the virtual machine skill sets also required for the Windows support. By default, you have Linux nodes in your cluster, but in case you would like to have Windows support, then instead of running individual virtual machines, you will have to have virtual machine skill sets. We leave it as enabled and we go to next, which is authentication. So here under the authentication tab, you can create an identity for your cluster. The cluster requires an identity to create additional resources like, for example, load balancers and manage disks in Azure. This identity can be either service principle or system assigned managed identity. This identity can also be used to authenticate with Azure Container Registry that we created in previous video, and I will show you how you can do it later. And for this purpose of the workshop, we will use the system assigned managed identity because they are more or less the same. So managed identities are essentially a wrapper around service principle and make their management simpler. And we will see that we will be requiring the system assigned managed identity for the integration part. Here it tells you the system assigned managed identity is required in order to associate Azure Container Registry. So in order for your cluster to go to your private registry, in this case, the Azure Container Registry, it's need an, it needs an identity. And the identity is just the username of your cluster. And for this, you need the system assigned managed identity under authentication. So I will choose it. If you go back to integration, you will see that you can choose your container registry. So here you have the RPAC, Role-Based Access Control. We're going to leave it as enabled because we use it to control user access to the cluster as well as what the user may or may not do once it's authenticated. We leave it as enabled and we go to the Networking tab.